Hello our viewers and welcome to our top-notch education consultancy programs. We continue to make our programs even better and uh, we bring to you uh, some of our discussions uh, as they happen in the set books that we discuss. Uh, this evening I would like to present to you an episode in the Samaritan. We will be using the episodic approach in our discussions so that we make uh, these books or the set books as simple as possible for our students and for our teachers. Uh, this evening I would like to discuss uh, one of the episodes in uh, the Samaritan and that is what I call the skit. Uh, just during the launch uh, or what happens there is this skit that the students, two students, Alvita and Montano are actually uh, acting. Tell me, Alvita. Yes? What do you think we should do as a society to ensure that you have a good future? Right now it seems extremely bleak. I shudder to think about it. Oh, how do you know my future is extremely bleak? Well, yesterday I was seated under a tree behind the classroom. Thinking. And then? I traveled into the future oh. about 50 years from now. Guess what? what? I saw you walking in a corner of a street as a cobbler. Mm -hmm. You look severely battered. <laughs> and your nose was permanently running. Me? A cobbler? Was it a nightmare you had? Oh, <laughs> hallucination! No! Oh. It is called traveling into the future. You just close your eyes and think about how the future will be given past and current trends in our municipality. You can also travel into the past. Yeah. One day I traveled into the past uh -huh. until I was back in my mother's womb. Yeah. And I now, the two students, Alvita and Montano, are worried about their future. And that tells you that uh, they are pessimistic. The leaders have run down the economy to an extent that there are no employment. That is one of the things that we observe as we begin uh, that skit. Because when Montano looked into his future, he saw the future of Alvita bleak. Reason is simple, that Alvita was actually a cobbler. And as he was a cobbler, it means there was no employment. And you can also say that uh, there were so many millions of graduates. They were graduating to a, at a faster rate. Uh, comparatively, they were unable to get the employment because the, the, the economy was actually producing more graduates, but the economy was not creating jobs. So that is part of what we discuss when you watch uh, that, that skit. So the nose of Alvita was running in that, that future, as we have been told by Montano. Now the second thing that you need to observe here is that uh, the economy has been run down. Issues of corruption represented uh, by that garbage in the city so much so that the stench was actually causing the nose of Alvita actually to run to an extent that uh, Montano thought that there was drumfuls of actually uh, of the mucus that was coming from Alvita's nose. So I was back in my mother's womb and I sat there mesmerized. Oh, it was so dark inside me. <laughs> Millions of youths were loitering in the streets aimlessly, not knowing what to do. Most of them were poor, hungry, and hungry. You are very serious, Montano. You mean, with all my education, I couldn't get a job. Alvita, our country has been producing more graduates than the number of jobs it is able to produce. That is the situation now. What do you think will be the situation in 50 years? Well, Alvita, I was in no better position. I was earning my livelihood as a panis with an not so popular steel band at that time. But joblessness was not even my main concern. Oh, what is your main concern? Your nose. The way your nose was landing, it is as if you had two drums of fluid 
in your head. I frankly didn't think you'd see another day. And why on earth was my nose running like that? This is unusual. Alvita, I think it's because of the awful smell in the city. See, that time, mm -hmm. cities had a bad stench because cleaning water was scarce. Ah, and uh, why was there no water? Climate change had occasioned unpredictable weather patterns. It was hardly raining anymore. It was raining only once in a year for at most 10 minutes. That new climate could hardly support plants and animal life. You mean plants and animals had all died? Yes, in fact, most people had adopted to eating strange things such as insects. Uh -huh. Rodents, uh -huh. crawling creatures, uh -huh. and other things that could survive this harsh climate. Mm. And all this mm. was short in supply. So other people had adopted to eating plastic bags, yeah, yeah, yeah. synthetic fibers, mm. and other bizarre things that I couldn't make out. Ha. Actually, at some point, Alvita, yes? I saw you chewing a gunny bar. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Alvita! It appears you can eat anything. <laughs> now the second thing that you need to observe here is that uh, the economy has been run down. Issues of corruption represented uh, by that garbage in the city. So much so that the stench was actually causing the nose of Albita actually to run. To an extent that uh, Montano thought that there was drumfuls of actually uh, of the mucus that was coming from Alvita's nose. So these are some of the things that you need to check. And as you check this one, the rot, it also brings issues of the climate change. We have no water, as uh, Montano is saying, that uh, rain would hardly be seen because it was raining probably once in one year. Now, we have issues of climate change, no rain, people eating strange things like insects, rodents, uh, synthetic fiber, oh, even so, Alvita actually eating the gunny bag. You know what gunny bags are. And if a situation arises where people eat gunny bags, then we are in a very desperate situation. Life had dropped drastically, life expectancy had also dropped drastically in that particular uh, episode. So that people would hardly live past 40 years. So it, they are telling us that people would only live between 30 to 40 years. We also have law officers, the law enforcers. You could not actually uh, deal with cases in a more judicial way because they were waiting for people to crease their hands before they dispense of justice. So justice was actually being uh, sold to people and therefore people were to buy justice. So these are some of the things that come, uh, come out very strongly when we look at this. So I want you to look at our presentation and look at the enactment that comes after to confirm what you have been saying. So we'll be using this approach where we have the discussion and the enactment also coming. Take a watch and look. I have already arrived and they shot giving us. So you remember. Look at what uh, the actions on stage are. My dear Montano, uh -huh. lack of knowledge is darker than night. You see, I also traveled into the future and I saw an entirely different world. Oh, really? Tell us about it, tell us. You see, mm -hmm. people had become... So these are some of the things that you need to check. And as you check this one, the rot, it also brings issues of the climate change. We have no water, as uh, Montano is saying, that uh, rain would hardly be seen because it was raining probably once in one year. Now, we have issues of climate change, no rain, people eating strange things like insects, rodents, uh, synthetic fiber, oh, even so, Alvita actually eating the gunny bag. You know what gunny bags are. And if a situation arises where people eat gunny bags, then we are in a very desperate situation. Life had dropped drastically, life expectancy had also dropped drastically in that particular uh, episode. So that people would hardly live past 40 years. So it, they are telling us that people would only live between 30 to 40 years. We also have law officers, the law enforcers. You could not actually uh, deal with cases in a more judicial way because 
they were waiting for people to crease their hands before they dispense of justice. So justice was actually being uh, sold to people and therefore people were to buy justice. So these are some of the things that come, uh, come out very strongly when we look at this. So I want you to look at our presentation and look at the enactment that comes after to confirm what you have been saying. So we'll be using this approach where we have the discussion and the enactment also coming. Take a watch and look at what uh, the actions on stage are. I'm so creative that they design intelligent machines and 